What's up guys? In this video, let's look at one more important concept, which is adding our own custom exceptions. So if we look at our API token check middleware, what we are doing is throwing a bad request exception. And if I open the Thunder client over here, it is giving me a status code of 400 and the message and error. But then imagine if you were to you know, put this in multiple places, would it feel correct? No, right? You can have a similar kind of exceptions which you would like to raise in multiple places. And if that is the case, we would ideally like to create our own exception so that it is very easy for you to understand that. So let's just say our token will result in a non-payment of a you know, non-payment kind of an error. Now this is a bad request. We also get an option to throw HTTP response. I'll show you. I think I'll go to the I would like you to refer to the documentation as well. So this is exception filters and what NestJS allows us to do is <clears throat> raise something called as HTTP exception. Okay. I have shown this in, in my previous videos as well, but just a quick recap. Throw new HTTP exception. The response, it can be anything like my response. And we also have the ability to uh, send the status. Okay, this is coming from nest common, nestjs common. And then if I do dot, I have a lot of you know, different status codes. And if you want to understand what status code represents what, you can click on that. It's TypeScript. You will get every information which is available. Now, as I was saying, 402 payment required is something which we want to, let's say, you know, display to the user. So I do this. Okay, this is my HTTP exception and oops, I think the application has not started yet. Yes. Now you can see my response is the message and 402 is the error code. Okay. So we do have control. We can do either a bad request or we can raise HTTP exception and be a little more specific about the exception that we want to raise with the status code. But there is one more way, which is if I can generate a specific kind of an error and throw that as an exception instead of bad request and HTTP exception so that the code is much more readable, which is if we go to the documentation. No, not this one. Custom exceptions. Okay. So this one, for example, is forbidden exception.ts and it's a class which extends HTTP exception and in the constructor, we are configuring things. And then we throw that, which is, a, I would say, a much more readable way. So I'll just show you that. Let's just say inside common because these exceptions are not, I mean, some of them can be module specific, but for the sake of things, let's just say they are inside common. So exceptions. Um, API token exception. Um, let's just say API token payment dot exception dot ts. Okay, this is what we want to do. Otherwise, the file name was becoming quite strange, and I really don't think that's a good way to name that. So, API token. payment extends exception interesting what happened uh, http exception my bad right and then inside the constructor we call super this is the response so token suggest payment is required something like this and then 
status dot what was the status code i forgot payment required right okay this is done and then the simple thing to do is just say throw new uh, api token payment that's about it and now if i refresh can you see it gives me the status code token suggest payment is required and this is the you know exception which you can throw anywhere i think i made one mistake which is i should have added the exception in my class name let's do, do that okay and it is going to fail i'll have to change this right and with this i would say that you know this code it must is much more reliable or not reliable my bad uh, much more readable because it gives me exactly the underlying you know statement which is uh what the application is seeing as a problem that the api token payment has not been made right and if i go inside it that's the implementation that this is the message and this is the status code so if tomorrow i need to change the message and then this is the only file where i will have to make that change and throughout the application i can just throw this exception so that's how we create custom exceptions so as you can see with the checks you can easily obfuscate the message and the status code inside the custom exception that you have created and then you can easily write the code throughout your application where you check for those conditions and you just throw the exception and the message and the status code is automatically being taken care of so if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel